I'm Dr. Helen Yaffe. I work as a teaching fellow teaching the history of Latin America at the London School of Economics and University College London. I'm also the author of the book Che Guevara, The Economics of Revolution, published by Palgrave Macmillan in 2009. The book is based on six years of research, including archive research and interviews um, in Cuba, uh, which were carried out as part of my doctoral thesis. During my time in Cuba, I, was, I had the privilege of contacting and interviewing um, around 50 of Che Guevara's closest con contributors. Um, what astonished me is how prepared they were to talk to me about their experience of working at Che's side and the experience in the first days of the revolution. Che Guevara was born in Argentina. He um, went travelling around Latin America and learnt um, through uh, his own experiences about the terrible poverty and inequality and he also linked this to the presence of US multinationals and um, other imperialist corporations. So he began to develop very radical ideas and ideas about anti-imperialism. At that juncture he met Fidel Castro and the Cuban revolutionaries who were already struggling against the Batista dictatorship in Cuba. Che had some very important uh, roles in the Cuban revolution. He was arguing that the Cuban economy must be a planned economy. He was arguing for uh, state ownership of the means of production, of factories, of uh, plants and refineries. So Che worked for a while as the president of the National Bank of Cuba. He was also the head of the Department of Industrialization and when that became too large to manage as a department, they turned it into a ministry and Che was the Minister of Industries. The um, challenge which Che Guevara set himself at the beginning of the Cuban Revolution was to solve the problem of how an underdeveloped country like Cuba can um, develop so that it produces more for the entire population, more goods, more healthcare, more education, more housing, transport. How can it develop in this way but without using the same mechanisms which capitalism uses? So without using the free market, without using um, appeals to material incentives, without using the profit motive and competition. And so my book deals with the measures which Che Guevara took in order to try and uh, solve this challenge and to solve this problem. So from that extent, given that the majority of the world still lives in underdeveloped countries, given that in the last 20 years in Latin America there has been a massive increase in poverty and inequality, the um, challenge which Che took on in Cuba in the early 1960s is still relevant to the rest of Latin America and to other countries around the world which are trying to solve the same problem.